We all know there are killer whales living down there. Once in a while, they give us a glimpse. But not all ocean's creatures are social animals. So today, I'm going a little deeper to show you the unique creatures that live and thrive beneath. At the moment, we are in uh, Juan de Fuca Strait. Um, we're sitting off the southern tip of Vancouver Island. And although, um, as everybody who, who lives here will know, our waters are incredibly cold, but it's because of these cold waters and where we are situated geographically that we have this abundance of life. Dr. Anna Hall has devoted her life to studying and protecting animals in the Pacific Ocean, and she's narrowed down her top unique creatures. They're one of the smallest marine mammals that live in the cold waters of British Columbia, if not the smallest, and most certainly one of the smallest in the Northern Hemisphere. There are only seven species of harbor porpoises on the planet. BC is home to two of them. With their endearing faces, it almost looks like they are smiling. And unlike dolphins, they have a blunt face. They are very inquisitive. Um, they've got sort of bright spark in their eyes if you ever do get to see them up close or see a photograph of them. Harbor porpoises are very susceptible to human activity and ocean noise. They also have complex social lives. And they are one of the most intelligent marine mammals. Uh, their level of brain development exceeds that of the killer whale or the bottlenose dolphin. Um, and yet they are still so very mysterious and it, it's one of the, the things that attracts me to them is they are these, there are intelligent neighbors and in some cases they are just seen just mere meters from the shoreline and yet we still know very little about them. Next up, the sea otter. They're rare to spot but one otter has been known to make a few appearances lounging on kelp. One of the things that is so remarkable is that 20 years ago, we would not have seen sea otters here. And every now and again, we get to see a single animal. And he's been called Ollie. Um, he's sighted frequently near race rocks. Their history is what makes them so remarkable. Tens of thousands of animals were killed for, during the, the fur trade in the late 1800s, early 1900s. The animals have started to make a recovery, especially on the west coast of Vancouver Island and the north coast of Vancouver Island. And given enough time, the animals have slowly but surely uh, recovered in numbers and perhaps what we're seeing with Ollie here is a glimpse into the future. Sea otters have the densest fur of any mammal on the planet. Up to a million hairs per square inch on their body. Just beautiful fur. No, this isn't a scene out of Jaws, but that is a blue shark. Beautiful, very sleek, very graceful moving through the water. BC has 13 confirmed species of sharks in our waters. They're mysterious, they're in some cases very deep water and, and fishermen may see them, but for the, the general boating public, it's not something in BC that we would see. Um, but the blue shark is one that we have a chance to see because they're, out of the 13 species, they're considered relatively common but they are found at the surface. Most blue sharks live for 20 years. Which is remarkable, that's, that's very similar to some of the marine mammals that we see here. And in case you were wondering what they eat. They will take fish, squid, uh, they will also feed on deceased marine mammals and turtles. Nudibranchs, also called sea slugs, are known for bright, bold colors, but also have an important role in the ocean. They are considered to be um, indicators of ocean health. And outside the ocean... One of the compounds that's within their body is now being looked at for um, perhaps a treatment of cancer or uh, neurogenerative diseases. They live short lives, sometimes only a week, but mating is easy for them. What's very interesting is that each individual is both male and female, which makes it really easy to find a mate. BC is considered a hotspot for nudibranch diversity as they are found in tropical and cold waters. BC is also a hotspot for our final unique creature, the sea star. We have about 82 different species of sea star in British Columbia, which again makes us a hotspot for sea star diversity. Um, but these are ancient creatures. They have been in our oceans for the past 450 million years. Sea stars have withstood the test of time, but have faced challenges. 
Unfortunately, back in 2013, something happened. And we, we don't have an explanation for it yet, but it's called sea star wasting disease. And it was probably the largest die-off ever recorded in history. And it occurred along the west coast of North America. And sea stars were dying upon the tens of thousands. There are some signs in BC that in some regions we may be experiencing recovery, but in other regions we absolutely are not. Work is being done to protect the animals in the Pacific Ocean. We did a, a lot of things wrong in the past that did serious damage to a lot of populations. Many of them have recovered, not all. Elena Kelly, Glacier Media, Vancouver Island.